the baby-faced member of Sydney's notorious Alamadeen crime family has been granted parole. Bilal Alamadeen, 24, who was once suspected of trying to travel to Syria to fight for Islamic State, will walk out of Goulburn Supermax prison on parole for drug and gun offenses no later than 28th of November this year. Grid Sparta has obtained a copy of this decision, that was made on the 14th of November by the Judicial Officer of the State Parole Authority, the copy is attached in the description below. After two failed parole attempts on November 20, 2020 and July 16, 2021, he was granted parole on Monday the 14th of November 2022. Bilal Alamadeen was to serve a total of six years behind bars, starting from June 2017 to June 2023 with an aggregate non-parole period of three years. This sentence was imposed for two offenses which were supplying prohibited drug that is cocaine, and unlawfully selling firearms, three times or more within 12 months. In May and June 2017, Bilal supplied guns and cocaine to an undercover officer named Karen, these included 9mm Parabellum Bull Transmark Limited Desert Eagle Self-Loading Pistol and two empty 9mm box magazines for $28,000. A shortened .22 caliber rifle and 44 rounds of .22 caliber ammunition for $13,000. Smith & Wesson .455 caliber revolver, for $18,000. He also supplied cocaine at $6,000 per ounce. While in prison, in 2019, he was found in possession of a mobile phone, a charger, tobacco, cannabis and four strips of buprenorphine. And again in 2020 corrective services officers found a mobile phone, together with a charger, a battery, and a SIM card. In addition to these offenses, Bilal has a history of breaches of custodial discipline with incidences of assaults and violence on other inmates. Bilal Alamadeen first became eligible for release from custody in 2020 and again in 2021 but the State Parole Authority refused his application on both occasions, amid concerns about his links to known extremists. This was based on information provided by Bilal's parents, that he had attempted to flee the country to fly to Syria in order to engage in armed hostilities on behalf of ISIS. In 2015, Bilal also attempted to board a flight for Dubai and had been obsessively watching videos of ISIS. He was also associated with Talal Alamadine who is his cousin, and is currently serving time for offenses of terrorism and supporting ISIS. Talal is behind bars for supplying the gun used to kill NSW police accountant Curtis Chang, at Paramana. Around two men will appear in court today over their alleged connection to the radicalised Sydney teenager who killed New South Wales police employee Curtis Cheng. 18-year-old Raban Alou has been charged with a Commonwealth terrorism offence and will face central local court today. 22-year-old Talal Alamadeen is accused of supplying the gun used to kill Mr Cheng. The man who supplied the gun that killed police worker Curtis Cheng in a terrorist attack in Parramatta has been jailed for at least 13 years. Talal was arrested in 2015 for supplying Smith & Wesson revolver to an associate who then passed it on to radicalized 15-year-old gunman Farhad Jabbar. Just hours after this gun transaction, Jabbar would use the weapon to gun down Cheng, outside police headquarters at Paramatta. Jabbar is then shot dead by police. Talal pleaded guilty for supplying the pistol, and was jailed for a maximum of 17 years in prison. He is eligible for parole in 2029. Talal is the brother of Rafat Alamadine, leader of the Alamadine Crime Network, who are longtime rivals of Sydney's Hamzi gang. Talal was also in news in 2018, when footage captured a wild brawl between him and Bassam Hamzi inside one of our toughest prisons. Taken inside Goulburn Supermax Prison, the footage shows Bassam Hamzi, 39, and Talal Alamadine bashing each other during an altercation. The inmates were having an animated discussion, understood to be in relation to the balance of power inside the prison, while in the rear yard of the correctional center before punches were thrown. Coming back to Bilal Alamadine, who was granted parole on the third attempt in spite of objections and set to be released. Alamadine is set to be released from custody within two weeks of this decision, at which time he will be subject to strict conditions under the terms of his parole including around-the-clock electronic ankle monitoring, non-association with any members of an organized criminal network or bikies, and a total ban on alcohol and drugs. 
The judicial officer found that Bilal Alamadine had matured and gained greater self-discipline in the past 12 months and had strong support from his family, who live in the Blacktown area. The authority was also satisfied that the now 24-year-old Alamadine no longer held extremist views and he would not engage in or encourage others to engage in active terrorism or violent extremism. It was also noted Alamadine only had eight months left on his sentence and the need for a period of parole where he could be supervised was important. Bilal will be released on parole no later than 28th of November 2022.